Well, Daniel, that can only be described as a really disappointing day, can't it? Yes, obviously. Once you lose the first game uh, here at home in the, in the season, such an important game, then uh, yeah, the overriding feeling is frustration and, and disappointment. And uh, yeah, you can't take this away today. What went wrong today? We didn't score. That's uh, that's a fact. So um, <laughs> you more or less can't play more dominant than than we did. I would say in the last uh, two home games. So we we come in so many good positions. We had whatever in the last two home games: thirty corner kicks, ten, fifteen wide area free kicks, many balls into the box, close to the box, second balls. You can't uh, question and and. Uh, ask uh, the effort uh, of the lads but in football it's always the same so when you play so dominant and, and so much on the front foot and you rest in so much into the game you have to score a goal yeah because otherwise there's always one scene perhaps in the uh, in the game when the opponents stay on the counter attack and once they have a player um, who just needs one uh, one chance uh, in the game in order to score he has scored for this side whatever 24 goals uh, side who is not creating that much but he's uh, very effective yeah you will always have this one situation and uh, if you don't score and, and reward yourself with goals then it's uh, yeah difficult uh, difficult to get results uh, you can the second the best result that you can get is an, a draw and if you're in one moment not not switch on and concede a counter attack because you bring more and more offensive thinking players on the pitch, you change your base formation because you didn't score before, then you keep even lose the game. And, and the reason why we didn't create uh, one uh, more points in the last two games is, is more like that in the moment when it really counts, the crunch time in the box, when we have a header or we have a clear strike or um, we have such an important situation where they're not effective enough in order to put the goal into the net. You've got a lot of young players in the team. This is a pressure situation. Are they finding it a bit of a challenge just at the moment? I wouldn't uh, speak too much about the the pressure. So I mentioned in the beginning uh, of uh, of the season that we have a young young side, and and uh, especially uh, also the lead shirt is a heavy shirt, and it's not easy for them um, uh, to be always in um, that experience in this uh, in this moments. But it's more like concentrate on the contents, concentrate on being there with a clear header, with a clear clear strike, and and concentrate on the on the basics. And um, again, so. I can't really ask the, the the workload that they put in and also the desire. Yeah, but it's also quality to, to be effective. Yeah, it's a quality um, to bring the ball over the line and we didn't have this quality enough, uh, at least not today. Now you've got a, a good few days to kind of work through this one, haven't you, before the, the next challenge comes up? <laughs> yes, that's right. And... Um, this also our task. So it's more like we at the moment we don't have to speak about promotion race or give give any messages uh, away. It's not it's not the day for this. So once you are there with two home games in a row without scoring, then you have to stay humble. You have to be self-critical and and uh, to work on the solutions. Uh, perhaps uh, to create more set pieces. Uh, have 35 set pieces in the last two games are not enough to score. Next time you have to create 50. Um, if the chances that we that we had today was with the crosses with the um, yeah good shooting positions are not not through score then we are i have to work on the solution to create even more with my lads and and definitely also on the uh, on the effectiveness so uh, lots to work on uh, for the next days that's definitely for sure